Hi everyone, and welcome to Ebony Made Easy. In today's video, we're going to talk about rally joining generals. These are the generals that help you grow by bringing back as many drops from as many boss rallies as possible. To do this, there's really three key buffs we need to be worried about. Number one is our double drop rate. This helps us to bring back as many drops from each rally we join. The next is our stamina cost. This helps us to join more boss rallies by taking a limited amount of stamina and stretching it further. And the third is our mar march speed and march speed to monster buffs. These buffs combined help us to join as many rallies as possible by getting back faster from the previous rally so we can join the next one run by our alliance. Let's start by picking our generals. In this summary, I've grouped some of the key rally joining generals in the game according to our goals. In the first category, we have our double drop specialists. Theodora, Baybars, and Cleopatra all have special skills that allow them to bring back more drops from each monster rally. In our next category, we have our Stamina Saver. That's Nathaniel Green. He's the only general currently in the game that allows you to reduce your stamina cost. And lastly, I've included Kuo Qibing, who's a March Speed Specialist. Theodora is currently available on newer service as a first purchase reward. So, buy a $5 US Stamina Pack and you can pick her up. With a level 4 Luck Skill Book, Courageous Dragon Ring, and a level 10 Bird of Hurricane, her double drop rate is 71%. If you can't craft dragon gear just yet, or you'd rather spend your materials on other types of gear for your generals, you can substitute a Fearless King's Ring for the Courageous Dragon Ring. The double drop rate on the Fearless King's Ring is only 2% lower than the double drop rate on the Courageous Dragon Ring. So on average, she brings back 71% more than the basic drop from each boss. And during the Ymir event, this goes up an extra 15% to 86%. So if we look at a level 3 Ymir, which normally drops 2 million of each resource, I should expect to average about 3.7 million of each resource. That extra 1.7 million from each rally really adds up quickly. If you prefer not to spend money on the game, Baybars is available as a close second. He's available from the tavern for 30 million gold, and with the same gear and spiritual beast, he gets a 68% double drop rate. So he's only 3% behind Theodora. Cleopatra is another good candidate available in the tavern, She's not quite as lucky as Theodora and Baybars, but she's a great choice to use early on as you build up your collection of generals. Remember to make sure that each of your main rally joining generals is at least level 23 and have been upgraded to three or more stars so they qualify to have an assistant general. As you can see, it's possible to push double drop rates even higher. However, it's very difficult for most players to achieve these. Ebony recently introduced the ability for Spiritual Beast to reach level 20 using Awakening Stones. This could allow a Bird of Hurricane to achieve a double drop rate of up to 30%. However, to get Awakening Stones, you need to either place top 10 in the Weekly World Boss Competition, you get 5 for 1st place, down to 1 for 10th place, or purchase a package. For now, I've decided it's not worth spending money on this pack, and placing in the top 10 in the World Boss Competition isn't realistic for me. So it's not for me, but I wanted to mention it in case that's something you're interested in. Although it's possible to push these double drop rates even higher through specialties, I don't recommend this because Rune Stones are such a limited resource in Ebony. Personally, I'd rather use them on specialties for my PvP generals. Also, at VIP level 14, you get an extra 10% double drop rate for all of your generals, which increases by 5% per VIP level, up to an extra 45% at VIP 21. So the extra double drop rate you would get from specialties could become irrelevant as you progress up to VIP levels. I currently have one Theodora and six Baybars for rally joining duty. This gives me the flexibility to send Baybars to rallies on all six of my March slots and save Theodora for rallies on the biggest bosses with the best drops. When I had five Baybars, it always seemed like the Theodora was tied up in another rally when somebody else set a rally on a Ymir 5 or a Hydra 4. The other key general we're looking for is Nathaniel Green. He's currently the only general who has a stamina reduction skill. He's available in the tavern for 32 million gold and reduces stamina cost by 25%. Because this skill is unique in the game, his special skill is also compatible with every other general. For joining rallies, I have six Nathaniel Greens, so they can pair up as assistant generals to either Theodora or Baybars as my main generals. Honorable mention goes to Huo Kubing for his March Time Reduction skill. This makes him the fastest general in the game. However, in my experience, it's more important to focus on double drops and stamina savings than March Speed. Here's a quick comparison of the stamina cost of joining a rally with Nathaniel Green versus every other general in the game. The key thing to remember is that when you send Nathaniel Green as an assistant general with any of the other rally joining generals in this comparison, their stamina cost is reduced as well. In this way, we can get the double drop rates from Theodora, Baybars, and Cleopatra with the stamina cost of Nathaniel Green. 
Now let's talk about march speed. When you join a boss rally, it's the rally setter's march speed buff that determines how quickly you'll get to the boss. However, the time it takes for your troops to return back to your keep is determined by your combined march speed and march speed to monster buffs. You can maximize these by changing your monarch gear to include the justice horn for march speed to monsters, by adding both march speed and monster march speed skill books to your generals. I add these to each of my Nathaniel Greens since their only job is to tag along to rallies and reduce stamina costs. Uh, you can also increase each main general's level, you can upgrade each main general's stars, and you can cultivate each main general's leadership stat. Uh, you can also equip each main general with a general's spear, king spear, or dragon spear, uh, as well as the courageous king's boots and fearless dragon boots. Personally, I think the king's spear and courageous king's boots are enough. In my opinion, it's more important to save materials to equip your sub-generals with debuff gear and upgrade your dragons. Okay, that's enough spreadsheets for now. I want to show you an example of one of my bay bars just to show you how it all fits together. Um, you can see I've added in the two skill books, the March Speed and March Speed to Monsters. I've given him a King's Spear, leveled it up to five stars, which gives him the 50% March Speed to Monsters buff. Um, I've also given him the Courageous King's Boots, which again gives him a 25% March Speed buff. And because I have two pieces of King's Gear on him, he gets an extra 15% from the set attributes there, the, the two-piece set bonus. The last piece of gear I put on him is the Courageous Dragon Ring, which at five stars gives him a, an additional 28% double drop rate for monsters. Haven't done any refining on this piece at all because I don't need to. There's, there's no real reason to. It doesn't increase march speed, doesn't increase double drop rate, so nothing else to do there. Okay, and here's an example of one of my Nathaniel Greens. Because he's a full-time assistant general for joining rallies, he doesn't need any gear at all because the gear buffs don't apply. Um, here's his special skill, as you can see, for reducing stamina cost. And I've given him March Speed, March Speed to Monsters, and Luck skill books. Now you might wonder why I would give him those skill books, given that my Bay Bars already covers that off. It's because every once in a while I do want to pair him with other generals for, for different purposes, for example, if I'm leading a rally. And lastly, here's my Theodora. Uh, as you can see, she has the Bird of Hurricane on, which gives her the, uh, the, the double drop rate. I've managed to get it up to 15%. Um, same, uh, same gear as for, for Bayars. We have the King's Spear with the 50% March Speed to Monsters, Courageous King's Boots with the 25% March Speed, and then the combined set uh, bonus of 15%, and then the Courageous Dragon Ring, again, without refinements, just for the, uh, the double drop rate from, from Monsters. Uh, in terms of skills, she has the, the luck skill, as well as her special skill, which includes both a double drop rate of 10%, as well as uh, a ground and mounted troops attack by 30% when attacking a, a monster. And that's the main reason why I have also included other skill books for her in terms of mounted uh, troop defense and mounted HP against monster. This is because I also use Theodora to pair with my main uh, mounted general for, for rallying the bigger bosses. The two of them together are compatible and it also allows me to hit bigger bosses without wounded, which from time to time is helpful as well. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop them below.